Hi guys, it's uh, Ken from Miniature Wargaming Warriors. Uh, just a quick one. Sorry there's been no battle report this week. Uh, me and Liam have been uh, quite busy. Um, so I thought I'd try and get a video up anyway. Um, something a little bit different that we've not done before. Um, it's just going to be a quick little painting tutorial really. Um, with the new contrast paints uh, from Gamers Workshop. I've got a uh, Katachan uh, jungle fight area. Um, these were the first models I ever bought. Um, I did, I half painted them. So I thought, why not give them a strip and give them some contrast treatment because I'm loving the contrast at the moment. Um, but yeah, so I'll take you through how to paint one of these up. It doesn't take very long, um, but I think the result looks uh, pretty cool. So yes, let's start. So the first thing I'm gonna start with is um, Black Templar. So as always, give, even though it's a, washy sort of paint, I'll still give it a good shake, um, using quite a sort of brush I'm using there, sorry, it's quite thin so, not really like the massive thick ones like the shade brushes, it's not really 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 thin but it's just enough I find for just individual miniatures, so, working around the model. This is new for me as well, painting on camera. Just trying to make sure I keep the model in shot while I'm doing it. So it's going to take me a little bit longer than it normally would. That's one boot. We've got a cat attack. I hope she should behave herself. I doubt it. She'll probably try and get on the camera. Working the paint around. Right, so that's the black uh, boots. Now, do I need to paint anything else black? I've got to do the las gun. I'm going to do black. Um, I'm not going to do the handle black. I'm going to do like a brownie colour for that. But I think. That's all the rest of the black, so I just need to do the last gun. And I'm just going to paint certain parts, so like the actual barrel itself is going to be like in a grey colour. I'll do that in a grey. Just tip the barrel. And the magazine as well, I'll do that in like a grey. But I've based this in like um, in the wraith bone. That's what I primed it in. It's a wraith bone from Games Workshop. You don't need to use the Games Workshop primers. I just like what wraith bone does. Um, I have used others. As long as it's like a light, light creamy colour or like a light grey, you can seem to get away with using that with these contrasts. It's all down to the reference of the person that's actually doing it but let's get this glass gun done just making sure to get into all the crevices where that black needs to be. I'm also using a painting handle just for the tutorial for the video, which I don't normally use a painting handle, but if I don't use a painting handle, you can't really see what I'm doing. So it gets blocked. My hand blocks the image. I don't know why, I've just never been able to uh, get on with the painting handles. 
That looks like all the black from the last gun apart from just in there, a little tiny bit. I think that's it. So that's all the black done. So in between I give, um, give the paintbrush a little wash um, with some water but then I dry it off um, in a bit of, tip, bit of towel. Um, next colour I'm going to go with... Right so the next colour I'm going to try and put on is the grey. Um, Basiculum grey. There. I thought I pronounced that right, I probably haven't. But it's gonna do the blade. So you can obviously you can use metallics for this, but I've been using the contrast stuff because I, I don't mind how this grey comes out at the end. You could always I could always dry brush a bit of metallic on it, I guess, but I don't really mind. Some people don't like it, which is fair enough. Everyone's got their own taste, haven't they? I like it. It's individual tastes. But then that's what painting's all about, isn't it? It's all about the individual tastes. As long as you're happy with your model, who cares what anyone else thinks? Just making sure I catch all the grey just in there. So like that. Also, he's got some dog tags just under here on this model. Some of the models have got them, some of them haven't. I'll give that a little bit of a going over, a bit of metallic there. So yeah, so that's that's the grey. So next colour I'm going to do, I'm going to do is trousers. So on the Citadel app it tells you to use uh, Dark Angel Green. Um, I'm going to use Creed Camo instead. I quite like it. It's not as dark. I think it looks a bit better. But again, you can paint your models however you want. You can paint these pink if you really wanted to. It is up to you. I'm just leaving that little bit of definition there because if you look on the back there's a pouch there that's going to be brown so I've got to just make sure I get just up to the right amount there. Literally like that. And this is very, I am finding this quite weird painting with a handle. Like I say I don't normally, I find it quite uncomfortable. Some people say they swear by these but I never use them. Some people say that makes me strange. <laughs> Just don't find them comfortable. And I don't feel like I have as much control either. It sounds really weird because you normally use a painting handle for the control and stuff like that, but I don't seem to. Well, I've got quite steady hands, so. Around 
Okay, you can see how the contrast paint's working, so it's pulled pull in all the recesses. If it has a bit too much, you can just pull some out. Depends how you want it. Pull a little bit out there because it's a little bit too much, but sometimes it looks quite good once it's dry. So this dude's got a jacket on. So that gets painted in the Cree camo as well. But the shirt underneath, that gets painted in uh, Militarum green. So we'll be doing that in a bit. But let's get this shirt painted first. Just on the front, just being careful not to get the black. We're getting there. See, when you get these base colours like this green, you are starting to really get the miniature to come together. The thing that will probably do it for this miniature is the flesh. You see the flesh going up automatically looks more complete. Um, right, I think that's pretty much this last little bit here. All the green for that. Yep, so as you can see, that's his jacket now done. So, next thing we'll do is we'll just go in with this other green, just quickly while we're, while we're here. Just a tiny bit on there, it's literally a case of dab, dab, dab. So that's that green. Um, we're nearly done. Um, gonna do the flesh now. This is when it will start to pop. This is when you'll look at it and think, ooh, that's nice. You might notice I've got a grenade there as well. Um, not all of them have them. Um, I didn't see it on this model, but I'll paint the grenade black and then do the top in like uh, possibly a yellow, where the, where the thing is in a minute. I'll do that right at the end. That'd be one of the last things I do. But flesh, this stuff is great for flesh. So I'm using Gilliman flesh here. It's just a case of getting plenty on. Just giving it a good, good paint. too much there on my brush at the minute so I'll just put some on the other arm just for a sec just so I use it in a minute not to waste it not over flood this arm all right so that's that arm Making sure to get into all the little nooks and crannies. Let's 
fingers there. Little bit of arm there. So yeah, a little bit of arm there. If you look here, there's a bit of pool in there. I don't really want it. Not some of it, so I just press about of it. <laughs> just to get it looking good. Bit more there. So that's the other good thing about this Wraith bone. It stands out quite well against these brighter colours. You can see it. Um, if I've missed any. It's not really much of a drama because I can just go in and just paint it up after. But that be that. See how some of this paint's starting to dry here on the on the blade. It's starting to look more like a metallic sort of colour metal. But I've got a bit too much on there, so I'll come around the back of his head. To his neck. Just on the top of his head. You know, and if I mess up, it's not too much of a drama because the red that we're going to use will paint over that skinny colour quite nicely. So it's not too much of a palaver. making sure to get into his uh, chest here. Yeah. A bit around by his ear. So yeah, that's all the flesh done, I believe. Okay, so that's all the flesh done. You see how much difference that's made on the model? It's been quite substantial. Alright, so that's the flesh. So, next colour will be his bandana. So, catch Chan fighters with their red bandanas. Renowned. So, again, nice amount. I'm literally going to touch this on. Literally rotate the model. That down messed up a little bit. All the paint's still quite wet and it's not dried. I can come in and scrape that away. And in a minute, I'll come back with some Gilliam and Flesh and just uh, touch that up a little bit. But that's, that's the red for his bandana. So if I just come in with a little bit of Get them in flesh. <laughs> so yeah, just come back and touch that a little bit up with some get them in flesh at the back there. There we go, literally like that. And the golden. Uh, next colour we are going to go for, if I can find it. Gargant fur. So this is for all like the brown areas. So I'm gonna do like um, his strap for his rifle, his belt, pouches. They're all gonna be in this brown. 
So let's start with the rifle strap. I like this brown. So just around here. So it's that. That there. So, so yeah, the stuff for the webbing and that is all here. Just making sure to get it all. No, not too fussed if it goes over the grenade that much because the black will cover it really well in a minute. So, just to get this bit around here. If you're wondering what that noise is, that would be my cat having a scratch. Don't they just do it the most fun times? Are you trying to concentrate and make a video for YouTube? It's not Liam's cats, it's mine. All right, so that's the lever there. I've just got one tiny little bit more to do, which will be around this part of this bayonet here. Do it like a brown colour. Near enough there. A couple more bits to do. That's the brown. That's the brown there. Okay. That's all the leather. Who sort of colours? You could use snake but never, but I quite like that brown, it's different. Um, so I'm going to go quickly on with the black Templar on that grenade. He's just got his hair to sort out in a minute. So that's that grenade. Right, so I'm just gonna put that top bit on that grenade. It's just there. It's a bit of yellow. So that's that done. And the last thing I'm gonna do, he's got a mohawk. I'm going to use a bit of skeleton horde just to do his hair colour. Some people say use black. Again, my army, my choice. Gives it a little bit of depth. So, yeah. He is done. So, yeah, happy days, he is done. So yeah, that's, that's the Catacham fighter there. Paint it with the contrast paints. It's not perfect, but it's tabletop ready. Let's just show him off there. Yeah, so I'm happy with that. I've also been Paint up slight Marbo. Then a couple more guys as well. So yeah. 
so yeah that's cat the Town fighters um thanks for watching hope you've enjoyed it and uh yeah see you next week um try and get a different type of video back up next week so yeah see you in a bit bye